Hello, everyone. Welcome to what I think is episode 30 of the Love Sockwell podcast. I hope you're having a lovely day or evening. It is evening here in St. Paul. The house is quiet. Ben took all of the kids to track practice. So I have a very short window of opportunity to record a podcast by myself without being interrupted. So um, I don't know how long this will be. This may be a shorter podcast, but I wanted to show you what I've been doing and what I've been knitting. And um, it's mostly socks and cozy memories and some quilting I will show to you. And yeah, so um, I've been doing pretty good the past. I guess it's been like three weeks since I last recorded. <laughs> um, and I've been going to PT faithfully every week. This is the first week that I have not had to go. I don't, they're now pushing me to every other week, which is good because it means I'm getting better. And I have not been in nearly as much pain as I had been. My shoulder is much, much better. I still have the tingling in my hand here and there. So that nerve bundle is still affected. So I'm, I have to be careful and not overwork myself. Um, I have a whole ton of exercises, which reminds me I've got to do them when I'm done recording this because I only did a few of my exercises today and I have to be faithful at it because it really does help. Um, but I have so many. I had to write out like this list with little check boxes so I can check them off when I get them done because otherwise I'll forget. Like I'll forget like, oh yeah, there's that one I gotta do. Oh yeah, I gotta do that one. I got all these exercise ball ones. I've got these stretch band thingy ones I gotta do. I've got um, small balls that you put on the wall. It's like like a shoulder stabilizing one. I've got to do that. It's a full-time job, people. It's a full-time job rehabilitating, <laughs> but we're getting there. And so I think I'll dive in and show you um, some socks. I've been doing, I have no show notes. I have no idea what I'm going to do or show you or in what order it will be done, but we will just go with it, okay? Let's see, I did finish two pairs of socks, um, which is very, very exciting. So I finished um, the Mrs. Weasley's family sock recipe. I'm sorry, it's kind of blowing out. It's the evening sun that's coming right in this window. So it's kind of making everything very bright. <laughs> so this this is um, Molly of a homespun house. Um, that's her pattern. I'm sorry, it's, it's very bright. I'm sorry I'm not giving you the best representation of this, but it's a lovely pattern, Molly. I love this pattern so much, and I really enjoyed knitting these. And it's in Hedgehog Fiber Sock in the Pine colorway. If I hold it way back here. In the contrast sock yarn is Madeline Tosh um, in Whiskey Barrel. For the cuff seals and toes. And like I said last time, I did like a wider band um, for the decreases. I haven't worn these yet, so I I don't know how this toe will wear or if I'll like it, but I keep doing this toe for all of my socks I've finished recently. So we'll see. They're beautiful. I can't bear to wear them. <laughs> I shall tuck them away. <laughs> until an appropriate time. It's finally warm here. So I haven't been wearing my hand knit socks hardly at all because spring is finally, has finally come to Minnesota. Okay, so the other pair I finished is Ben's Ron socks. I'm so happy that they're done. I was very proud of myself for sticking with it and finishing up the leg of the second sock because I knit these toe up. Um, and again, this is No Makers, Ron Weasley in her bungalow gnome base, which is her BFL nylon, her being Amanda, Miss No Makers, who is wonderful and brilliant and a genius. And I love all of her yarns and I want every single color. And this one is for Ben, of course, because it's Ron Weasley. And I did a four by four garter rib stitch patterning, which I've talked about in previous episodes. And I did a fish lips kiss heel, which is fine. I still always think it looks kind of, kind of funny. <laughs> it's fine when it's on your foot or on the sock blocker, but I don't know. I just think they look kind of funny off of your foot. 
So I'm gonna um, hide these away for Christmas. And, oh shoot, I forgot, okay. I'm probably gonna have to pause and go get, because I have a whole bunch of other socks I need to show you and I didn't bring them over. I have some of them, but not all of them. Okay, so these are done, yay! And I'll show you the Hermione socks for me in just a moment. But I have some single socks I finished. So um, a while back I showed you guys this Knit Picks Felici yarn and it is tea party i believe and it's so pretty it's such a sweet colorway and i just used some tranquil stroll and again i did like a wider band for the toe and i have the yarn all caked up and ready to cast on the second one but of course i have not cast it on yet but i meant to immediately and then probably something happened and i just didn't it's fine. Here's another single sock I can show you. This is um, uh, Dobby's A Free Elf by Nomadic Yarns. I think it's Ashley. Is that your name, Miss Nomadic Yarns? I'm so sorry if I'm getting that wrong, but I think your name's Ashley. She has the most incredibly brilliant Harry Potter colorways I've ever seen. It's amazing. So she's on Etsy, so just go look up Nomadic Yarns and you will be blown away. I ordered Luna Lovegood and I'm very excited because Luna is one of my favorite characters in all of Harry Potterdom. So I'm excited to get that. Um, so this is Dobby's a Free Elf and it's on her sparkle base. Can you see the sparkle? And then I chose to do a contrast heel in Knit Picks Glimmer. <laughs> And I think it's the runway colorway. So it's like a nice, very vibrant hot pink and it's very sparkly. I love it. I love this sock. And I do have the second sock going. I will prove it to you, but it's, it's in that basket right there. But I have to go get my other basket of socks. So hold on just okay. a second. I'm back. I found my socks. <laughs> Here is the second. Dobby's a free elf. See, I do cast on second socks occasionally when the whim strikes. Isn't that adorable? And I wonder where I put the nitpick stroll. I have no idea. It might be upstairs. But isn't it pretty? It's just gorgeous. I love the blend of like a neutral color with these bright, you know, pink and teal and it's kind of like a rosy brown. It's just, it's beautiful. I'm thrilled. And the Luna Lovegood colorway that I ordered, so this is on the sparkle base and I ordered Luna on her trusty sock base, which I think is, you know, a standard maybe 75, 25 merino nylons. I'm so excited to see, see what that one's like. That might come in another week or two, I'm not sure. She's so busy because everyone's, everyone wants her Harry Potter yarn. To, oh, because she's doing the hashtag socks for Dobby cow on Instagram or maybe in her group or maybe both, I don't really know. But when I remember, I try to use the hashtag because I love to use hashtags if they apply. <laughs> While I'm showing, that just fell on the floor. Get it later. So this is my little basket of second socks. I only have three socks. No, that's not, that's a lie. I have four socks that are second socks. Everything else are first socks. <laughs> it's gonna take me like six years to finish them all. But this one I haven't shown in a while. This is the beautiful Juliana's Fibers above the clouds on her sparkle base. And this is the second sock. I finished the first one like last year or something like that. It's beautiful. And for some insane reason, I decided I wanted to do one by one ribbing, like 40 rows of one by one ribbing so I could fold it down. I will not be doing that again. But you know, if I can get the second one knit, with 40 rounds of one by one ribbing, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> but apparently I ran out of steam. 
and didn't keep going, but I'll pick it back up eventually. Never fear. This second sock is the wonderful Arnie and Carlos Summer Night. I really should get this one cranked out because I'm almost to the heel flap. Look at this adorable stitch marker. I forgot I had that on there. That's from Willful Mina. It's like a little doll horse. You know what I'm saying? You know those little horses? So Swedish or Norwegian, Northern European, whatever. I'm using my lovely, I'm about to lose a DPN. There goes the DPN. <laughs> my little bobbins. DPN holder, which I love. Oh, here you can see her. Her little beautiful label. Let me pick up my DPN. These are my zings. I don't want to lose those. Okay, so last Friday, I decided it was time to organize the sock whips because they were out of control, as usual. And normally it doesn't bother me, but I just wanted to take stock of things and figure out how many whips I had going and you know what, I, what am I going to finish and is there socks that I can just toss because I know I'm not gonna finish them and I don't like them. So I did that for a couple, only two. I only got rid of two socks. I didn't throw the yarn away, I just threw the whip away. And sometimes you need to do that. And I felt so much better after just letting myself take stock of all of my socks and get rid of the ones I didn't really like. And then um, I made a list. <laughs> and this list is horrifying. Okay, socks on the needles. This is my knitting journal. That's a pretty long list, people. The ones on the bottom, those are my Christmas socks that I didn't finish last year. Um, remember the 12 socks of Christmas cow? These are the ones I didn't finish. So I'm gonna have to finish them this coming December, Lord willing. Up here, and I've crossed out some of them because either I threw them away. Yes, I threw two socks away, but that's okay. We're not gonna cry about it. <laughs> but I, I think the count is down to 20? I think I have 20 socks on the needles and those are only first socks because, wait a minute, no, 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 no. I think I'm wrong, hold on. One, two, I'm always wrong. If you ever hear me say something, just don't take it seriously because it's probably not true. Okay, one, two, three, four, yeah. No, that's not right either. What is wrong with me? I can't, see, I can't even, I can't even. <laughs> I can't organize my socks to save my life. There's too many of them, but it's so much fun. It is so much fun to have so many socks going because I can just pick whichever one I feel like working on, get it to the next stage of the sock and and then it just, the momentum just kind of takes over and, and before you know it, the sock's done. And then the problem is just getting the second one going. As you know, I have a huge problem with that. Okay, so one, two, three. So I've got four that are second socks, which means there must be 16 that are first socks. That's not bad, right? No, that's normal. I'll show you some of the first socks. And I've, you know, I've put a little bit of a dent on some of them. For some reason, there is a Spider-Man ball in my box of first socks. This is what I use to do my um, shoulder stabilizing ball on the wall exercises. <laughs> and I have to hide it because my children will steal it and then I don't have a ball for my PT and that's not good. Okay, so I'll show you this. I think I showed this um, previously. So this is a, a caddy, like a craft caddy that I got at Joann's. It's this um, butter, I don't know if you can see that, buttercream brand. They're always on sale and they always have them. They're about 15 bucks, but you might be able to get it cheaper maybe with a coupon or something. 
but I think that's the sale price. So you can't really use like a 50% off coupon because it's already on sale, but maybe, you know how they give you those 20% for 20 off your entire order kind of coupons? It might work for that. So you might be able to use, you might be able to use a coupon for that. And they have different designs and they're really pretty. I like them a lot. My Boxo socks from, um, here I'll show, oh shoot, I can't show you. Oh, I was gonna turn the camera around. Well, maybe I can't. See, that's my Boxo socks and it's also buttercream. I think it's the same pattern as this caddy here. Okay. <sighs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm sorry I look so terrible. I just went running and I haven't taken a shower or anything. And I just had to seize the opportunity while I had it to record. So bear with all of my horrible inconsistencies and imperfections. Okay, this is No Place Like Gnome by Gnome Acres on House Gnome, which I love and adore. And this is of course the first sock. All of these are first socks. Just to, if I ever show a sock, just assume it's the first sock because it probably is. And I did the um, slightly modified eye of partridge, garter, heel, flap, something like that. You know, the one from the Hermione's Everyday Sock Pattern. I can't be expected to remember all of the words, but it's beautiful and I love it. And I'm using the Wendelin Sock Pattern, which is just a ribbed. It's basically, the front panel is, is stockinette but just on the sides is this nice ribbing. And it's a free pattern. Wendelin on Ravelry. I think it takes you to a, bro a blog post, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, there's lots more no makers. Here is Miss Hermione. And this is also House Gnome and I'm doing a three by one ribbing and I'm using zeros. Right now I have them on Knit Picks Caspians and I haven't picked this up at all because I don't like the needles that I have on it. I mean, normally I like the Knit Picks Caspian. They're great, but for this particular sock, I'm not enjoying it. And what I really would like to do is get some Knit Picks Majestic size zeros, but um, I just can't buy any right now because I need to not be making any more purchases. <laughs> so. This one's just kind of on hold until I can figure out what kind of needle I want to put on it. Because if I can't buy a, a set, I need to, obviously I'm gonna have to figure something out, but it's just hibernating for a little while and that's fine. Here is Ben's Arthur Weasley socks, who is all tangled up in the cord. Okay. I don't know if I've made any progress on this at all since the last time I showed it to you. But I do love it. I just haven't picked it up. And then I still have my Molly Weasley socks for me, but I still haven't cast them on. I want to. I want to so bad, but I got 20 socks on the needles. I can't justify it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure out a way to justify it tomorrow. This is Desert Vista Dye Works Zombody Doodle Dandy, which I cast on like last July. And it is now May of the following year. Hold on, let me make the, whatever, the focus thing do, do what it's supposed to do. Isn't it fun? I love it. I had not knit on this at all and I just saw it laying in a basket and I, I think it was here and I quick just Finish the leg and the next thing I knew I was done with the decreases so I'm ready to just crank out the foot and I didn't do anything special with the heel flap I think when I finished the heel turn I just wound off a teensy bit of yarn so that the yarn would be at the correct spot for keeping the stripes intact because we all know how utterly important that is. And then my beautiful freckled whimsy sock, which I still have not finished the heel flip on. And I love this sock. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. I love it. I'm just horrible. <laughs> Too many things. And this is the caboodle colorway on her. Um, I, I'm not, I can't remember what she calls this sock base, um, but it's an 80-20, I believe. And it's 
so plush and soft. And Miss Freckled Whimsy is just, she's just killing it with dyeing. She's doing an excellent job. And then the lovely Miss Deborah Norville. We can't forget her. I did knit on this a little bit. And I love this. I love these socks. Um, I wear my pink sugar ones all the time. I wear them and I throw them in the washer and dryer and then I wear them again. And they look exactly the same every single time. <laughs> so it is worth knitting up some $2.99 socks if that's the kind of results you're gonna get. Highly recommend. And then, I don't think I've ever shown this one. I don't think, who knows. This is Arnie and Carlos, the second design line. And I think this, I cast this on probably for Ben. It's really nice. Looking at it on the camera, I'm like, why am I not knitting it? I like it a lot. What's the color number? 03760. And I did, um, three by one ribbing and then um, a welt pattern, which is this garter, and then switch to plain vanilla. And this is actually a pattern. It's called, what's it called? Winterscape. It's by Kay Redding. Is that her name? I think that's her name. It's free Unravelry Winterscape socks. I knit a pair, uh, my reflector socks by Beautiful Wool and Fine Yarns. I knit it in that pattern as well. Okay, let's tidy up just a little bit. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> There's more upstairs. I didn't even bring them all down. All right. That's that one. Dobby fell on the floor. I can't get him right now. I have to wait. Oh, 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 my Wonder Woman socks. You have to see my Wonder Woman socks. That's what I've been working on since Sunday. No, no, Saturday night we were watching The Winter Soldier again, Marshall and Priscilla and myself. And so because we were watching a superhero movie, I was like, I got to get out my, my Wonder Woman sock. And I did find my Wonder Woman sock. It was stuffed in a project bag under the seat of the passenger side of my car. So I was so relieved because I was worried I had seriously lost it. Um, so I picked it up and here she be. Isn't that fun? I love how it's like wild pooling on the gussets. That makes me so happy. <laughs> and it's sparkly, of course, because Wonder Woman is a sparkly lady. And I have it in my little whimsy bag, which I love. And, no, I'm gonna get them. I think my children stole my Wonder Woman pen that I just bought. I put it in here to hide it from them. Wait a minute, no, <laughs> it's in this one. Oh, I'm sorry, I accused them. It's right here, but I wouldn't, it, normally it is them. This time it was me. Look at my Wonder Woman pen. Isn't she fun? She matches perfectly. My kids had the Scholastic Book Fair <laughs> at their school. Um, it's all this week. And it, they do such a nice job. They um, set up all these book stands and all these other stuff. And you can buy a Wonder Woman pen there. It's actually not really a pen. I think it's a highlighter, which is fine because I need, I love to highlight. I love to highlight things. <laughs> but anyway, I had to, I had to get myself a Wonder Woman pen. So, I'm done with the gussets and I'm ready to crank out the foot. My goal is to finish this sock in the next day or two and then get the second one going so that by the time the Avengers Civil War movie comes out this weekend, I can take it to the movie and be knitting the leg of the second sock at the movie. That is the goal. We'll see if it happens. But I'm gonna try. Okay, I'll take this off. I'm sure there's more socks. I'm sure of it. I mean, there's more socks upstairs, but I can't go get them. And I, I think they were ones that I didn't like, touch, really. 
So I'll show you some other things I've been tinkering around with. On Saturday, I picked up my scrappy crochet granny stripe blanket. <laughs> that feels like a lot of words. Um, I don't know if I can even really show all of this, but this, it's pretty big. That's the bottom down there. And then here's the lot, these are the, you know, the rows I've been working on. It's pretty, it's seriously big. It's way bigger than my Cozy Memories blanket. Cause crochet is fast. And what I've been doing is when I finish, um, hold on, there's like a thing on my, you know how like notifications come down on the top. I was just trying to get it out of the way. Um, so when I finish squares, on my Cozy Memories blanket, which is right there, um, I always have a tiny little nubbin left of the mini skein, and I don't wanna even waste that, especially if it's a colorway that I super love. So what I've been doing is taking the, a bunch of those tiny little leftovers and making a magic ball or a magic knot. So this is my leftover little bits of Ron, but like deep, deep down in here, there's, <laughs> There's some other colors. Um, or did I already use it up? Maybe I did. I think I magic knotted this one. I'm pretty sure I did because I had all these leftover little bits of my No Makers Christmas mini skein bundle and I love all of those yarns and I, I didn't want to waste a centimeter of it. <laughs> so I, I made a magic knot. I think this is it, but I'm like trying to like dig into the middle of this ball and I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I don't know. Apparently I've lost my mind, but um, this last little bit that I put on, that was a magic knot. And this is the leftover little bits of that gorgeous sparkly yarn that um, the lovely Dawn Wolf sent me. And I'll show you that square in my blanket in a little bit. And there's hair from me because I shed like a Labrador. Um, this is a beautiful mustache yarns that um, Nicole sent me. So I'll show you all my minis that I've been getting from swap packages. So anyway, really fun. Um, it's just a granny stripe. Like it's just three double crochets. It's very easy. I think it's from a blog called Cottage 24. I think that is, if you were to just Google Granny Stripe crochet pattern, her blog would probably come up. And, and the instructions are very clear. I think someone messaged me, and I'm so sorry, I don't think I got, got back to you, but um, it was a question about the Granny Stripe blanket. I think maybe you asked how, how long or how many chains I chained for the initial row and I don't remember. I wanna say it's 212 though. But seriously, I would just chain however long you think you, you want the width to be and just, and then just start your clusters of three double crochet. Um, I mean, I guess you probably should do a gauge crochet, but I don't even know how to do that, so. I don't think I did a, a gauge. And I'm using an F hook. And let me see if it's right here. It probably fell. It probably did. I don't know where it is, but it's an F hook. <laughs> I got it somewhere. Okay. Oh, here's the, here's a tiny little bit of a magic ball. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I promise I have not been drinking at all, just water. I'm probably dehydrated, that's, that's probably what's going on. I really am. I forget to drink water all day until I get a headache and then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm dehydrated, I need to drink. Okay, oh, there's a little bit more crochet. So having one crochet blanket on the go is not enough. One must have at least two. So I think I showed you guys this a while back. So this is 
the exact same thing as the granny stripe, except it's just in a square form. So you just keep going around and around and around until it's as big as you want it to be. So I put, you know, I can't remember where it was at the last time I showed it to you, but I've just kind of thrown in some random, random yarns. The latest purple is just some, this is one of the socks I threw away. <laughs> I'm bad, but not really. This is Sprinkle Heather. It's very pretty and I do love it. And it looks nice, it looks really nice actually on this granny square. So this one's fun. So if I don't feel like working on the, the big one, it's fun to pull this one out because it's kind of nice and small. And that's what I was gonna say about, you know, all this blanket madness, because we are all mad for our blankets as we should be. Um, hold on. So this is my cozy memories and it is getting pretty big. I, I counted the squares, but I can't remember what it was. But you know, it's pretty big. And now that we're getting into, you know, spring and then it's gonna be summer, I know I'm not gonna wanna work on it. And it makes me sad because it's too big, it'll be too hot to work on. But my friends, that is why you should have two cozy memories going because you need to have a smaller one going for the summer months, which I already do. And I, of course, did not bring it over. And I haven't knit any other squares on that one since the last time I showed you. So I've, I've just been working on my big one, but once it really does start to get warm, that's the one I'm gonna work on because it's still like only, you know, this big. So it won't be hot. <laughs> and the same thing with um, the granny stripe, this will be way too hot to work on in the summer, but I can work on this one because it's small. So I can make them bigger over the summer and then once it gets cooler again, I can pick up with my bigger one. So see, that is why you should have more than one cozy memories or scrappy crochet blanket going. There, there you go. I just helped you make your decision that you have been waiting to make to cast on more sock yarn blankets. You're welcome. And you probably didn't need to hear any of that, but th th that's my one brilliant thought for the day and, and I'm done. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just getting untangled so I can show you what blankets I worked on since last we spoke. Okay, so I got um, the No Makers mini scheme bundle called Backyard Shenanigans. It was the first picture on the intro section to this podcast. And so I'm working to get them all uh, knit in. So this was one of them. It's um, Toadstool Meadow, I think. And this one is Bubbles. And this one I'm working on right now is fireflies, I think. And then I have the rest of them in this little teacup. This is not one of them. This is some hedgehog fibers, but there's s'mores, which is delicious. And then there's camping with hippos, which I've already knit a pair of socks with, but, I, but this is in house gnome. And so, okay, so these are the two I've knit in. And so I'm saving these little nubbins and I'll magic knot them and stick them in my crochet blanket. So then I won't waste any of it because that is so virtuous, right? It is. Okay. <clears throat> now there were other, I just dropped, I just dropped another ball of yarn. There goes fireflies. It's on the floor, people. Okay. So I think, okay. I think I had ended here last time, three weeks ago. So that's camping with hippos. So I put in Dobby's a free elf. As soon as I finished the first sock, I put this square on because I was desperate to knit it into my blanket. And then as soon as I finished Ron's socks, I knit that one into my blanket. And then this is a beautiful mini by um, Mustache Yarns. And I don't remember the name, but um, Nicole's Needlework, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole, for all my minis. I'll show them off in just a second. She sent me that one. And then beautiful Nina from This Old Knit. Um, we had done a swap a while back and she sent me some beautiful minis. And I, I think this is No Makers 
is it fruitarian? It's on the sparkle base. And then this is a nice scrummy mini from Anna Lena Knitter from Austria. She sent, we did a swap and um, she sent me lovely minis. I'll show them all to you in a minute. And then, okay, and then we're back to, to no makers. So I think total I put maybe seven squares on. I'd like to be able to put a square on a day if I could, but I know the second I make that rule for myself, I won't be able to follow it, but but I really have been enjoying picking this up and um and working on it whenever I can. So let me show you some swap packages that I've received. Let me make some room here. There's too many things. <clears throat> so Anna from Austria, we did a swap, which I just sent your package on Friday, Anna. Hopefully it will be to you in a week. That's what the postal lady said. But Anna sent me all these beautiful Austrian yarns. And it's brands I've never heard of. And I even tried looking them up on the internet and I couldn't find them. I think she's made different socks with them. Anna, you must love blue because there's a lot of blues in here. So I'm excited to, to knit those all into my blanket. And then my phone is ringing. Why would my phone be ringing? Who calls me? My sister, my sister's the only one who calls me on my phone. <laughs> and, um, these are from Nicole and they're beautiful and she labeled them so sweetly. So nice. I love them, they're, they're really pretty. And then lovely Nina and some of them, some of the ones Nina sent me, I went ahead and wound up so I could just have them ready to go. So fun. I love getting minis. Nina, what is this yarn? I need to know. It looks like Bubbles from No Makers. I was comparing it to my mini skein that I have and it's the same colors. Is it, is it, but on a different base? Because it's not, it's totally different. It's very soft. I must know. So you must tell me. And then um, that yarn hoarder, Amber, she's so slick. She sent me um, a whole bunch of minis because she had gotten an extra set of quilting mats from Amazon. I, like somehow they sent an extra set of um, quilt cutting mats. And she sent me the extra one. Thank you, Amber. That's wonderful because I did not have the 12 inch. I did have nine inch, but I didn't have 12 inch. So that will be great for when I make 12 inch quilt blocks. But aren't they pretty? They're beautiful. I love these sparkly ones. I think they're Wisdom yarns or Plymouth yarns or something like that. I love them. <sighs> I got work to do. Get all these minis knit up. She sent this beautiful card. I love that crochet. Granny Square Afghan. It's awesome. And then today, today, I got my um, swap package for um, the Knit24 fan group, um, which is all Sue's um, Periscope um, watchers, followers, or just members in the Knit24 fan group. So I got um, paired up with Sue, which was so exciting, and she sent me all these fun clothespin minis. What a wonderful idea. Don't they look like little dollies? Like I could just see Juliet like wrapping them up in a blanket and playing with them. <laughs> she would. I'm gonna have to hide them because that's exactly what she'll do. <laughs> look, it's the yarn that um, Chelsea finished her pretty socks in the Stitch Together Studios. I'm so excited. I might have to put that one on next <laughs> on my blanket. And then which one is this one? Is this the one Chelsea did the Dumbledore's Christmas stockings? Hmm? I don't know. I could be wrong. I might be making things up. And what is this one? It's sparkly. Is that Woolen Vine? I love it. It's so pretty. Thank you so much, Sue. It was so special to open these up. I went ahead and um, 
I had to wind this one up into a ball. It was on a clothespin, but I wound it into a ball because I think this is the cozy knitter. Is, is, is it the cozy knitter? See? But I wanted to wind it up in a ball because I wanted to see all of the colors. I wanted to see what was gonna happen next. <laughs> so I had to wind that up into a ball. And then, so the, the deal was you would send minis, some tea, and a recipe. Like it was supposed to be simple. Like, so Sue sent her famous coffee brownie recipe. Okay, go ahead and take a screenshot. I'm trying, okay, I'm trying to hold really still. Did you do it? Have you taken a screenshot yet? You better do it. It's a brownie recipe. You're gonna wanna make these. I know you are. I'm gonna make them as soon as I possibly can. So much fun. And then beautiful teas. These puka teas. I love the tea bags. They're so pretty. People should make colorways based on the tea bags. And some lovely Earl Grey. What is that noise? Oh, it's dogs. <laughs> Somebody's walking their dogs and the dog was making very strange, very strange noises. I think it was a basset hound. <laughs> I live on the corner of a very busy street. I live on the corner of a quiet street and a very busy street. And um, so I see everything because there's windows all around the house. I'm like the Rachel Lynn of St. Paul. Nothing gets by me. Like I see the same people that go by every single day. I'm like, oh, look at what they're doing, look at where they're going. And I gossip about them, <laughs> just like Rachel Lynn. Okay, I think that might have to do it for today. There's probably more, but I can't remember. And I need to clean up all these messes and my kitchen's a mess and I wanna get everything cleaned up before everyone comes home. So um, thank you for watching and um, I'm sorry to be so scattered and ridiculous, um, but you're probably used to that. Um, so God bless, have a lovely rest of your day. I hope you get lots of knitting time and I will see you the next time I record, bye.